Hey guys, it's Alien Gaming Guy here, and I have a new contraption that I just thought I thunk up. Um, it's a compact vending machine. That I was just thinking through a couple ideas, thought a vending machine might be cool, so I started planning it out, and it's pretty interesting. So what you do is you hit the button, and I hit the wool button, so wool came out, as you can see and hit the wool button again and it goes back into its assigned slot that's using rep delay and a lot of redstone which is not actually that complicated it's just long lines of redstone that uh, connect here and then they set the time for when the cart comes up this track which is just an underground track that comes up here and when the card is coming this track switches over and it drops back into its assigned slot as you see the wool's back here now or, or um if you press the next button this one won't go off so it'll just keep coming through here but then this one will go off turning that and letting it fall into there and it actually really isn't that complicated of a design the only thing i'm trying to figure out next to do is to add lights up here to um, s show you which one you have active or which one is there but I think I might it's not really that complicated of design I might do it on this wall over here just so you could see but so I'm just going to show you all the work you already saw wool so stone got your stone there press it goes back dirt comes out press it goes back and glowstone comes in press the button goes back and now as you see it that, since that one's the last one it doesn't need any wiring for this and because redstone changes the direction of the track but since it's the last one it just goes through all the different sets and the power directs are here so it keeps going and then ends up in its assigned slot. So today I'm going to teach you how to make this. So first thing I want to show you is the basic design. So you just want to dig a trench, make a wall on the other side, and I'll get wood out just to make the button more visible. Put the button on there, then just make a little line here. So what you're going to want to do, place a repeater there, where you got these blocks, place a repeater there, so they both go out. This one, you're going to want to set to a 4 tick delay, and then cover it. And now you're going to add um, a track, a powered minecart track here. Ah, I need to get my other tracks out. Uh, let's just replace for the sign. Come two out, and then you want to make this a powered track. Place a redstone torch under it, and it will power. And you can do this for however many you want. I'm going to do two as an example here. So you just, it's only one spacing, so it do, so that's what helps being compact. And so now, just add the repeaters here. Four tick delay. And add the wood and wired up. So now what I'm going to show you is that it comes out here. So when you press this button, oh wait, <laughs> didn't put the carts on. So when you press this button, this cart comes out. When you press this button, that cart comes out. And that's the basic design mechanism for it. So what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to drop it down a little bit and you can either make you can make the spacing however long you want and then place two power tracks there that way it doesn't connect with up there and then what I do just so it makes it all the way back is I power this whole track because it's always really annoying when you're trying to do something and it just won't power so then 
It's weird, it usually powers. Oh. Some weird glitch is going on. But then, you only have to make this one back, so I'm going to switch this with the regular rail. And now, we just come on up. I like to make it um too high just for sa just for space sake. It's starting to get dark. Should probably lay out a bed just for when it gets pitch black. Okay. And now you just lay your tracks up. And what you want to do here is since there's not enough room for the other track or for it to get the power on this track, um it won't have enough speed to get back. So what you want to do is you want to add that power track there. Then just add a block here and place a redstone torch. That won't really affect anything. It'll just let it come back. So now you just box it in. And you have your first reset system. But what you need to do is you need to get this block block power or this block powered because that will send the current th to this so what you're going to want to do is this block you placed earlier as you can see it's right there you want to go down one and then bring it over to the block underneath it and um, what i do just so it doesn't run out of power i put a repeater in between and make sure there's a block in front of each one them or else it won't power this track. So you press this, it comes out. Huh. That's weird. Oh, I know what the problem is. I had it drop down one more on my other track. So let's just fix that right now. Okay. And now this should work. Yep, so you see the track turns on. Uh, let's replace this cart. And now this comes in. And pick up your stuff. Just make a little gap here. Pick up your stuff, place it, and it'll come back. As you see, it goes through. So what you're wanna, gonna wanna do next is your timing system. And that's where this comes in. So you just want to make yourself a trench, but do a ending point. I do mine. Let me check, just to make sure I'm right. One, um, I do it three away from this block where it first comes up. So that's where you're going to want to do it. So one, two, three. That way it runs into this. So what you're going to want to do is... what or at least what I do, is I dig a trench, and you'll see this torch. That means you're on the right path. So, what you're going to want to do next is dig this part out. I just do the trenches for ease of access. If that's even a term. <laughs> but, so, now what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to place one redstone here, or two redstone here, one there, and then I believe it's four in a line. Let me just check because it gets confusing. So, one, and then three in a line. So, come back here. So, two redstone, one repeater set to max delay, one more redstone, and then three in a line. All set to four delay. Everything on your timing system is on four delay, which makes it a little bit easier. So now, what should happen, click the button, cart comes out, drops into your collection point, press it, cart comes back around, it turns when the cart's coming through, and the cart drops back in. So now, um, every time you want to add a new cart, all you have to do is take your timing system, and add one repeater with four delay onto it. And you'll see they kind of make these rows. And every row you should have a torch with, um, right here. They should all line up. But now what you want to do is
go through here and then just fill up this whole row except for these two blocks. These two blocks stay are alone or get left alone. And that part's done. So now you have your second timing system and it only took a couple seconds. So this is what I'm saying. This is a very simple build. You don't have to be a redstone genius to figure this out. But I just thought I would help figure figure it out just so you can do your stuff and such. Um so for these you just add a torch connect these up and as you see since this is the last one it won't turn but when we add our next track and put down the torch it'll turn this way which is very convenient but that's not gonna really that's not gonna be affecting us right now so that's it that's your entire system click it comes in click it comes out into the correct spot Click it, comes out, click it, and goes back into the correct spot. Now it's very important that you make sure you press the correct button to send it back because as an example here, if you press this cart, but press this button, it'll send that cart out and it'll replace it with that, with that cart. Now it's not too hard of a fix, you just want to send that cart back, that one in, and then press this button again to send that cart back to its right spot. But it gets confusing if you have like 20 of these in a row, or if you just don't feel like going back behind to check on the wiring. And also, as I have over here, you can make this too deep and have the cart go underground. That way you don't have to... That way, if you're building and you don't want... and you want to bring the cart underneath your base, that way it can reset, but you don't want to, um, you don't want to keep, um, seeing it going through as you're walking away. It's really good to have that, um, underground track. But, so it's one final demonstration. Click it. And then, this repeater powers that block, powers that redstone, and the cart comes back. Click it again and it does the same thing and if you set this all up properly you should have your correct timing system everything correct and you should have your own vending machine and for points when these it's too short you just add on another block and then add on another block as long as you need to keep these going in this like this but so you see over here I have five rows or four rows, four rows of them, and wow, forgot to set all these to four, and it still managed to time itself. That's weird. Hmm. But yeah, so as you can see, it works in multi, in multi-grouped area. Wow, lag spike. It works in multi-grouped areas where you have like a bunch and it works basically wherever you want to make it wow I'm up to wow that's a high frame rate <laughs> but yeah so everything's easily hidden hidden for example this you just add a wall around it and it's hidden and you can still come down here and collect it what I like to do is I like to add a block or I like to um make it so that's like this and then you have a block here now you can't see where it's coming in but you can see it like leaving just oh wait oh wait no I did that wrong <laughs> um I want you want it um four back then just half slab your way down and add a block here. That way you can still access it, but you can't see where it's coming from. But yeah, that's... Oh, uh, wait. I did that during the night, didn't I? 
Okay, well, I hope you saw that, because that was really distract. That night might have killed this entire video. So, yeah, but if you enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.